Hello friends, welcome to Affairs Cloud Learn to Lead. This is Ashu and today we will discuss very important current affairs of 21st of October 2020. You can see here two images, very best uh, news of the day. But today we will dis discuss 7 to 8 very important news of the 21st of October 2020. Uh, but before proceeding, I want to discuss two or three things with you. Uh, first of all, it is Affairs Cloud subscription PDFs. You can buy our PDFs by subscribing our current affairs. Uh, there are two methods you can subscribe our current affairs. First of all, you can visit our website that is Affairs Cloud slash current affairs or you can directly go to the description box. Below this video, there is a description box so that uh, you can directly visit the link. What you will get in the PDFs, you will get the daily current affairs, you will get the weekly PDFs, you will get the weekly tests. This is very important to evaluate yourself uh, so that uh, you are retaining the current affairs or not. And the monthly PDFs, uh, there will be five monthly PDFs. One will be the top 100 current affairs of the month. Second is the banking, finance and the economy PDF. Very useful guys for the banking aspirants. And there is one more that is the pocket PDF. Uh, as the name suggests, this is uh, just to revise the current affairs very quickly. And last but not the least, that is the question and answer PDF. All the current affairs in the format of question and answers will be given to you so that you can revise the current affairs very quickly. So this all comes in a package and uh, with a subscription of one year, uh, you can subscribe our current affairs and uh, at very minimal price guys. And on that minimal price, we are giving you 10% extra discount that is ASH10. If you use this code ASH10, then you will get the 10% extra discount on that minimal cost. And one more thing, these current affairs are provided in Hindi as well as in English language. So let's start today's current affair that is the 21st of October and here is our first question. Niti Ayog launched first of its kind Frontier Technologies Cloud Innovation Center with which company? So guys, uh, there are two or three things. One is the organization name. Uh, second is the Niti Ayog that is important in the keyword. And third is the Cloud Innovation Center. What is this Cloud Innovation Center? This is basically a technology based center in under which they will address societal challenges through uh, digital innovation with focus on agriculture, healthcare and the uh, skill development. There are three sectors uh, on which they are focusing. One is the agriculture, second is the healthcare, third is the skill development through the digitalization. That's why this cloud innovation center uh, will be set up. Or you can simply uh, say in the layman language that uh, the core mission of the CIC is to identify and deploy the latest technology to drive continuous innovation in delivering citizen services. Because uh, citizen services are very useful for the societal challenges or to uh, change the societal challenges basically. So uh, this cloud innovation center will be opened by the Niti Ayog with which company that is the Amazon guys. So answer will be the A that is the Amazon Web Services. All around the globe guys there are 12 cloud innovation centers. It means that there are uh, 12 CIC centers and it is the first in India. So remember this is mark under the important question because it is a technology related question. So uh, uh, note, uh, we, we can't mark under the very important or the most important. So mark under the important question. So it is the Niti Yoke who tie up with the Amazon uh, for uh, setting up a cloud innovation center. So guys, uh, this is for the news. And you all know about the Niti Yoke. Niti Yoke headquarters in New Delhi. And who is the CEO? That is the Amitabh Kant. Who is the deputy chairman? That is the Dr. Rajiv Kumar. Now moving to our next question, you can see in the picture that Niti Ayog and the Amazon Web Service launched Frontier Technologies Cloud Innovation Center in India. I already told you the main focus is on the three areas. One is the agriculture, second is the healthcare and third is the uh, skill development. Moving to next question, which ministry E launched the development of indigenous software solution for vessel traffic services and vessel traffic monitoring system? It means it is related for the ships. So why two systems started for the uh, ship management or the vessel management that is the vessel traffic services and the vessel traffic monitoring system. Uh, so uh, both the system, both the softwares will help in determining the uh, position of shipping vessels. Where are they? Positioning of the other traffic and the other meteorological hazard warnings and traffic management within a port or the waterway. So very important to manage the traffic in the uh, basically sea or you can say uh, on the shipping vessels. So this is very important mark under very important question and uh, by the uh, information you can uh, directly answer that answer is A that is the Ministry of 
shipping guys ministry of shipping and uh, who is the minister of state independent charge for shipping is the mansukh mandavia so remember mansukh mandavia that is the mm uh, he is the current minister of state but independent charge of uh, shipping remember this and it is just to control the vessel traffic in the uh, sea or you can say uh, to manage the um, to manage the traffic or you can say to uh, determining the position of the shipping vessels within a port or a waterway so remember these two things so uh, you can see here that is the uh, connected with the internet and this is again connected so everything is basically connected so that the uh, position of the ship can be determined where uh, it is going or where it is leading and if there is any traffic then it can also be processed by this system so it is the vts and the vtms vts stands for the vessel traffic services and vessel traffic monitoring services Move to next question india and which country share a strategic partnership in water management so uh, guys this is important very important question because it is related to water management to control the water scarcity uh, and uh, uh, india basically uh, facing a problem regarding the water scarcity so there is a need of water management so that's why india and that country share a strategic partnership in the water management and guys this country is the israel remember israel israel also nominate israel also announced that israel will nominate one honorary person or you can say uh, one honorary council in the northeastern states so that uh, they can increase its presence and collaboration in the northeastern region so remember uh, they are tying up with the northeastern region and they are also tying for the water management so remember two things about the israel and india what about the israel capital is jerusalem currency is israeli new shekel so remember shekel s h e k e l that is the shekel and prime minister that is the friend of modi ji that is benjamin netanyahu so remember uh, that is the israel capital is jerusalem move to next question you can see in the picture that israel embassy to have water attached in india's from january it means they will start the water management system in the agriculture as well in the, uh, in the other fields um, from the jan 2021 next question most important question you can mark under the very important to the most important that what is the rank of india in the migrations to oecd nations according to the 44th international migration outlook 2020 there are two things which are very important one is the international migration outlook 2020 who uh, who's released this book or the uh, this report or the outlook report and second uh, important organization is the oecd oecd that is very important so guys first of all important thing is where is the headquarter of oecd oecd stand for organization for economic cooperation and development organization for economic cooperation and the development it was established in 1961 and its headquarter is in paris remember its headquarter is in paris it is very important because financial action task force headquarter is also in paris so remember this also it is uh, in the building of the oecd that financial action task force fatf i think you know fatf and its headquarter also in the uh, building of the oecd that's why its headquarter is in paris so you are basically uh, uh, now uh, you are basically learning two headquarters or uh, basically or you can say the uh, one headquarter of the two organization that is fatf and the oecd so this is all and uh, second thing international migration outlook report is basically released by the oecd and uh, you have to remember what is the rank of india in the migrations and india is on number second so remember uh, india on number second you can see in the picture india world number second in the migration to oecd nations getting citizenships and uh, they are also getting the citizenship and they are also migrating to the other countries which are related to the oecd nations and uh, china is on the top guys you have to remember china is on the top india is on the second just remember the rank of india move to next question which company in partnership with various credit card issuers to introduce 2 million co branded credit cards for indian consumers now it, uh, you have to tell me the name of the company who is partnering with other various cre credit card issuers to introduce 2 million co branded credit card the main focusing of the this that word is the co branded credit card and guys the answer is very simple that is the paytm so remember the paytm uh, in partnership with the various credit card issuers uh, will introduce 2 million co branded credit card the word main important is the co branded the company has uh, basically digitalized the entire credit card experience on paytm app you can see uh, by opening the paytm app there is a digitalized 
क्रेडिट कार्ड और द डेबिट कार्ड इन ऑर्डर टू इंक्लूड डिजिटल एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस एंड हेल्प कस्टमर ट्रैक इशुअंस ऑफ देयर न्यू क्रेडिट कार्ड यू कैन ऑल्सो ट्रैक द न्यू क्रेडिट कार्ड सर्विसेज ऑन द ऐप the users can choose a convenient time to collect the documents on the app that is again very useful for the customers paytm also announced that it is building a new next generation credit cards which have diverse one touch services including changing security pin number updating address blocking card in the event of fraud prevention or if you lost your card issuing duplicate card or being outstanding credit limit this is all on the app and uh, many uh, i think banks are using this type of the facility but now it is launched by the paytm it is launched by the paytm paytm recently also launched a card named as the paytm first card it was launched by uh, with the help of the city bank it was launched by with the help of the city bank you remember also paytm and city bank basically collaborated to uh, launch the first co branded credit card that is the paytm first card remember this also and uh, where is the headquarter of uh, paytm that is the noida guys noida uttar pradesh president is amit nayar remember this president is amit nayar you can see here paytm introduced co branded credit cards and uh, it is uh, basically uh, the digitalization of the india next is the supreme court appointed one man panel it means it is only consist of one member to monitor stubble burning so it is very important because uh, it is related to the pollution and uh, mark under the very important question what is the name of the head and guys the name of the head is the justice madan bhimrao lakur remember it is very important because it is just a one man panel and why it is important it is just to monitor or just give recommendations to control the stubble burning now what is the stubble burning i think all you know uh, it is basically by the farmers of punjab haryana uttar pradesh or the delhi uh, so that uh, uh, by the uh, basically pollution level or you can say the air quality in delhi or the national capital region worsens more than the daily life so this is very important because it will recommend this panel basically will recommend the solutions or to monitor the uh, stubble burning so uh, remember the name that is the justice madan bhimrao lokur you can see here appoints one man panel to monitor stubble burning and remember the name very important move to next question portraits of power half a century of being at ring side is an autobiography of which famous person a very important person and uh, i think everyone knows his name and he is very famous person portraits of power just remember this keyword that is the portraits of power very important person and he is nand kishor singh is nand kishor singh that is nk singh i think all know that nand kishor singh is the chairman of the 15th finance commission guys chairman of 15th finance commission nand kishor singh or the nk singh portraits of power so remember because it is an autobiography so it is very important portraits of power nand kishor singh i repeated three or four times so that you can remember portraits of power half a century of being a ringside that is nk singh Move to next question. Who won the gold medal in the women's event of Sheikh Russell International Air Rifle Championship 2020? I already told you the answer because we did this question on the 20th of October, and it is same just to revise uh, so that you can retain the maximum to maximum important questions. And the answer is that is 11 nil. Answer is 11 nil. And uh, the person who won the silver medal uh, that is the uh, Shanu Mane. Remember Shanu Mane. He won the silver medal and 11 nil won. gold medal move to next question nitin gadkari laid foundation stone for india's first multi model logistic park in which state this is guys most important question mark under most important because it is the first multi model logistic park in which state and this multi model logistic park basically will be developed under the bharat mala parijojana of the government of india it is uh, being created by the national highway and infrastructure development corporation that is nhidcl and it is owned by the ministry of road transport and highways that's why the name is nitin gadkari because he is currently the minister of union minister of the road transport and highways and uh, this is very important because uh, this is uh, uh, consist of this consist of 317 acre land uh, along the bharat uh, uh, you can say uh, the river of the brahmaputra the river of the brahmaputra because brahmaputra enters in india through the arunachal pradesh and uh, then goes to the assam then directly goes to the bangladesh now uh, that's why i am already uh, gave you hint that it is on the banks of the river brahmaputra that's why there is no name of arunachal pradesh so the answer will be assam so assam is the answer guys and remember it is the india's first multi model logistic park which will uh, basically provide direct air 
road railway and waterway connectivity to the people of the assam so this is or the you can say it is very beneficial for the northeastern states because assam is the hub of the all seven northeastern states so that's why it is uh, 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 basically started in the assam so remember first multimodal logistic park in assam and it is uh, basically inaugurated by the nitin gadkari ji and its first phase will be completed in 2023 first phase will be completed in 2023 and uh, it is in assam under the bharat mala parijojana i already told you it is interstate connectivity by road rail air and the water so it is inaugurated on 20th of october 2020 Moving to next question, which state launched electricity consumer service portal Mo Bidut? Bidut means that is Bijli mobile app. It means a portal and the mobile app named as the Mo Bidut. And guys, the state is Odisha. Remember, the state is Odisha. And Mo Bidut portal will ensure efficient, time-bound, and transparent online service delivery. This portal is available in both English and the Odia language because Odisha state language is the Odia basically. and the integrated online platform covers all four power utilities of odisha like all the four power utilities of the odisha like tata power uh, you can say this is the central uh, odisha distribution limited northern eastern electricity supply companies there are western electricity supply companies there are southern electricity supply so there are four basically companies are there so that's why it covers all the four utilities of the odisha basically this uh, portal or the mobile app will benefit 89 lakh electricity consumer of the state so that the efficient time bound and the transparent online services can be delivered to that person if you want to increase your uh, load of the uh, basically domestic house or the general purpose services like irrigation pumping agriculture then on the app or on the portal you can apply directly with the uh, some certificates or the minimal to minimum uh, documentation and within 48 hours after the submission of application everything will be uh, serviced so this is the basically uh, function of the mo bidut it comes under the mo sarkar program mo sarkar means the my government mo bidut means my electricity that's why the name is the mo bid so remember the odisha odisha is guys very famous because the chief minister is navin patnaik one of my favorite person and uh, second is the there is a uh, airport that is the biju patnaik international airport very important uh, there is a elephant reserve that is the mahanadi elephant reserve because you know the mahanadi uh, main flows in the odisha that's why and on the mahanadi there is a uh, dam that is very famous hirakud dam hirakud dam that is again very famous dam and the mayurbanj elephant reserve is also there there is a bitarkanika national park is also there uh, there is a, you can say uh, one biosphere reserve that is the simli pal biosphere reserve simli pal biosphere reserve is also in the odisha very important olive turtles also in odisha again very famous you can see here mo bidut that is the shri navin patnaik ji very very important person Next question, guys. BSC signed a MOU with which state government to support MSMEs to raise equity funds so that maximum to maximum uh, funds can be transferred to the MSMEs or maximum to maximum MSMEs can be uh, initiated by the Bombay Stock Exchange. It means the state government will provide the funds to the uh, companies related to the uh, you can say Bombay Stock Exchange so that uh, the the businesses can grow, uh, even can expand. from the uh, uh, you can say the pandemic uh, areas to the normal condition it means uh, they can basically shifted from the pandemic affected uh, areas to the normal areas and this state is the telangana guys this state is the telangana and it is very important because under this partnership the msmes of telangana will have access to the opportunities of equity financing which will support the businesses to grow the expansion to the uh, basically acquisition you can say and uh, telangana is very important state guys remember the telangana because the chief minister of the telangana is very important that is k chandrashekhar rao k chandrashekhar rao remember telangana telangana is very important state and guys there is a one more important thing that is the bombay stock exchange one of the oldest exchange of the asia that is the bombay stock exchange headquarters in mumbai uh, by the name you can guess that is the mumbai and who is the md and ceo of the bombay stock exchange that is important question that is the ashish kumar chauhan Ashish Kumar Chauhan remember this Bombay Stock Exchange and uh, Telangana is again very important because there is a Nehru Geological Park very important uh, there is a one Vigyan Kendar that is also very important uh, there is a lake very famous Hussain Sagar Lake very famous lake in the Telangana recently asked in the kon banega crorepati that is the Hussain Sagar Lake 
move to next question uh, but before that you can see in the picture that bsc experienced the new help msm is raised equity fund joined the uh, state of telangana next question and it is very interesting day that is the international chef day 20th of october 2020 not so much important question and never asked in the exam but you can remember by the interesting facts that is the international chef day so that you can make so many dishes on the 20th of october that's why you can remember the international chef day healthy food for the future very famous slogan and why this day is celebrated guys it is just to uh, basically celebrate the profession of the chefs uh, you can say or the educate people about the healthy food globally so this is the main uh, the uh, theme of the international she, uh, uh, chef day and theme is the healthy food for the future move to next question and it is the world statistics day uh, and a very important day why because the all the statistics basically in india are provided by just uh, uh, one or two organization one uh, very important is the nso that is the national statistical organization second is the cso center statistical organization and third one is the nsso national sample survey organization but all the three organization recently merged and uh, become the one organization that is the nso national statistical organization so it is the world statistic day on the 20th of october 2020 connecting the world with data we can trust so that uh, the by the meaningful data we can uh, expect what will be the future and we can make policies according to that data so that's why this day day is very important on the 20th of october 2020 there is also a world level commission that is known as unsc it is not united Nations security council it is basically united Nations statistical commission united state uh, united Nations statistical commission its headquarters is in new york so you can remember also there is a world level organization uh, which is connected to the us uh, un that is the united nation move to next question it is the cricketer and commenter kishore bimani dies so uh, remember the person name that is the kishore bimani the examiner can ask that kishore bimani belongs to which field so you have to remember it uh, that uh, he belongs to the cricket move to next question guys and uh, all the questions are completed now uh, there is a section that is not to remember just read section First is the Nokia selected by NASA to build first ever cellular network on the moon uh, that is selected by the NASA uh, with the Nokia company. So uh, you can uh, just read this news so that uh, it is very simple that uh, NASA signed a contract with Nokia to uh, set up a cellular network on the moon. So uh, it is a very interesting fact even. Second is the scientist found India's first dragonfly fossil of 2.5 million years old in Jharkhand. It is again very interesting fact that... Uh, uh, one dragonfly fossil that is uh, very much old that is 2.5 million year old in Jharkhand. you can remember this again third is a not so much important day that is the world osteoporosis day on 20th of october don't need to remember it is not important next is india successfully test fired sant missile s-a-n-t what is the meaning of the synth it is basically a stand of anti-tank missile and it is uh, basically developed by the DRDO. You all know about DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization, headquarters in New Delhi and uh, head of the DRDO is the G. Satish Reddy. Remember this, this is important, person, name person is very important. And Sant is basically air to surface missile and uh, it is, uh, I already told you, uh, developed by the Defense Research and Development Organization for Indian Air force so it is very important and remember the name of the sant that is the stand of anti-tank guided missile or the anti-tank missile that is the sant missile now next is the sebi constitute a market data advisory committee headed by the uh madhapuri bush or the buck so uh, remember uh whatever my pronunciation can be wrong that is the madhabi puri remember the name madhabi puri uh, that SEBI constitute a committee. Madhabi Puri is the head. Just uh, remember how uh, you can. Next is the bond trade platform bond value set for a new year launch in India. So what is this bond value? It is uh, basically a blockchain platform uh, which will be launched by uh, the year of 2021 to facilitate investment in bonds by individuals. So it is the bond value. Bond Evalue is basically uh, a company name that is the Singapore based bond exchange company that is the Bond Evalue. Uh, bond Evalue uh, is uh, a company which is co-founded by the Indian entrepreneurs. One is the Raja Ram Karan and second is the Rahul Banerjee. No need to remember. It is just to launch a blockchain platform in 2021 to facilitate investment in bonds by the individuals. So just remember the name that is the Bond Evalue that is a, uh, a uh, Singapore based bond exchange. 
नेक्स्ट इज द नाइन्थ सेशन ऑफ इंडिया ओमान ज्वाइंट कमीशन हेल्ड वर्चुअली कोच एड बाई हरदीप सिंह पुरी जी दैट इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउसिंग एंड अर्बन अफेयर सो दिस इज नॉट सो मच इंपॉर्टेंट सो गाइज दिस इज ऑल फॉर द डे आई थिंक यू लाइक दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड गाइज प्लीज प्रोवाइड थ्री हंड्रेड लाइक सो दैट वी कैन मेक मोर वीडियोज ऑन द मोर और द डिफरेंट कंटेंट्स एंड इट इज अफेयर क्लाउड प्रॉमिस दैट इट विल बूस्ट योर कॉन्फिडेंस ऑन द जनरल अवेयरनेस सेक्शन एंड गाइज इट इज माई पर्सनल प्रॉमिस इफ यू आर वॉचिंग वीडियोज फॉर वन मंथ रेगुलरली and if you are reading our current affairs from the pdfs regularly then your current affairs section will go strong uh, you can basically check yourself uh, after one month then you will realize that our current affairs section uh, now is very strong and uh, your ability to uh, correct the answer in the current affairs section will also increase and guys thank you again for watching this video and take care be safe